grocery stores, big box retailers and even auto mechanics could pick up sales in the coming months, thanks to a new source of cash, monthly payments that go directly into parents and caretakers' bank accounts. Starting Thursday, families will receive money for each of their children. The enhanced child tax credits, passed as part of the American Rescue Plan, are intended to fight child poverty. For retailers, however, they could also act as a stimulus that encourages spending on food, school supplies, clothes, or even a car payment. It's a good thing for Walmart and grocery stores, said Jim Sullivan, an economics professor at the University of Notre Dame who is studying the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on Americans living in poverty. The retail sectors where middle and lower income families spend money are likely to benefit some from this. The payments will be the latest government-funded cash infusion. Retailers, including Walmart and Best Buy, have said they saw a spending bump after consumers received stimulus checks. Some customers have also had extra money from federal unemployment benefits, which many states recently ended. Congress has no plans for a fourth stimulus check. This will fill a void with some of the other payments being no longer distributed, said Michael Lasser, a retail analyst at UBS. It's going to continue to support consumer spending. Child tax credits date back to the late 1990s, but the law makes a few notable changes that could influence consumer spending. Families will receive more money per child. Low-income families will get the payments, even if they have little or no taxable income. And the government will pay half of the money in advance rather than including it in a family's tax refund. The tax credit will increase from $2,000 per child to $3,000 for those between the ages of 6 and 17, and $3,600 for each child under age 6. Families will receive the full amount if they make up to $150,000 for a couple or $112, $500 for a family with a single parent, called a head of household, or $75,000 as an individual taxpayer. The payments will be phased out above that amount, but even those who get less money will receive advance payments. Among families that get the full amount, that will translate to a monthly payment of either $250 or $300 per child. About 39 million households, which include nearly 90% of children in the U.S., will begin receiving the payments in July, according to the Internal Revenue Service. The payments will run through December. Some lawmakers are already pushing to extend the credit or make it permanent. Francine Lipman, a law professor at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, who specializes in tax policy and anti-poverty initiatives, said the payments will go toward two different kinds of consumers. Families who live at or below the poverty line will likely spend the money on necessities, like buying food, covering the rent or paying for medication.